Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we're watching France get the shit kicked out of them. They used to be revolutionary France, but not anymore, and they want that marriage again, and I think we're going to do it. We're just going to marry everyone. We're at two out of eight relationships right now. We're going to marry all the things. Why? Because look what happens when we marry them. It's going to start saying, you know, a Commonwealth noble succeeds the throne. You can marry Portugal and Britain and Spain and Bohemia. Oh, yeah, look at those marriages. So now what's it say for Francie Ponce? A noble from my house succeeds the throne. I approve. Give me a diplomat. We're going to Portugal. Marriage. Give me a diplomat. We're going to Britain. We're just going to do all the things. Actually, Britain doesn't matter because they're a fucking noble republic. That's never going to work. Bohemia will work, though. Even at negative 200... He's like, can we be friends? Why, yes, we can be friends, Bohemia. We will hold hands and walk into the sunset together. No homo. All right, now we're at six out of eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, Britain, why aren't you a republic? Why is Britain a fucking republic? Yeah. Oh, new cardinal time. Tuscany, come on. Get off your high horse, you little sack of shit. <laughs> Oh, our units have grouped up. 35, 20, and 25. That's fine. We'll take half of you to Bessarabia. And the other half to... Edirne. Yeah, let's get right on the Ottomans' border. Be like, yeah. Where is the Ottomans' army? Because I gave him access to go beat up Spain. And he's not using it at all. In fact, Portugal is invading Ottoman... No, oh, he's down here. These are Ottomans invading Portugal. So the Ottomans are invading Portuguese West Africa, and he's leaving Spain alone. Well, that's just disappointing. That is just disappointing. Anywho, blockade all these provinces. Get the sieges to go a little quicker, please. Thank you so much. Yep, Bohemia right now has no heir, and he's 52 years old. So there's a decent chance that he'll die with no heir and get my dynasty, and we'll just go be like, yep, you're my bitch. We'll at least try, right? All right, the first province has fallen. Move on to Ferrara, because that one's going to take a while. Negative 63, my goodness. It's only a level 5 fort, but it's really got some bad modifiers. Do you have Siege? You have Siege 4. Alright, well, let me get all your cannons. Actually, no, not like that. Do this. Just take all the cannons with the Siege 4 general, and let's go over to Ferrara, just to help, help that place fall a little quicker. Oh yeah, negative 63, now it's negative 21. Beauty footer. We lost a claim on the Ottomans. Oh no. <laughs> the Oirats are declaring on the Manchu again. Yeah, the Oirats are just bullying them. That's hilarious. I think they're just going to next them this time. One of our generals just died. Darn it. Was it the guy sieging? Mm, no. The guy sieging is still there. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Marriage from Grenada. Get out of here, Grenada. You're a one-province miner. I don't care about you. All right, Pisa's done. Move on to Firenze. That one's going to take some time, yeah. Lawrence! It's one of the few places I've been to in Europe. Very neat place.
The architecture is amazing. Sienna, okay, good. You know what? You can have. Oh, I don't have enough for a general. Never mind. I was going to get another general, but don't need it. And we just got another claim on the Ottomans because why not? <laughs> why not? There goes Parma. Go help in Cremona. Cardinal died. Well, go get a new one, I guess. New Cardinal, go! Yeah. Get out of here with your stupid claims. Get out of here with your stupid pirates blockading me. I don't care. I really don't. Bound your speed on Bohemia. Fine, whatever. Oh, we forced out their navy. Pew, pew, pew! Instant death. Nice. God, I love my death squad fleet. Death squad fleet, go! Alright, Ferrara has finished. Move on to the capital. There goes the Ferrara Navy as well. Aha! Alright, Ferrara, do you have any claims? Of course you don't have any fucking claims. Why would you ever have claims? Indeed. All right, 100%. Now, do we want to take Ferrara? Because we could just annex Ferrara. I guess we should. Why not? And Tuscany, we're going to give these two to Milan, our vassal. And I think I'll take Romagna. That way I can walk back and forth. Maybe Romagna and something else. How much base tax do you have once Parma and Cremona are gone? You have 9, 14, 21, 33, 38, 46. Holy shit, you have tons of base tax. You are insane. 46 base tax. Well, how can we hurt you? Mantua is probably going to be the best one, huh? That'll bring you down to 30, 37. So if we do Mantua and Siena, then he'll be small enough to vassalize peacefully. Hmm. And he won't do that. Oh, because it's over the war score. Fuck. Fine, just do Mantua. Whatever. Alright. Core it. What else am I going to use my fucking points on? We're, we're ahead of time by like 10 years. Alright, go chill in Mantua, go chill in Ferrara, keep them happy. And let's start selling this shit to Japan. Because I'm not going to core it. Suo and Tosa, alright. Suo and Tosa. Grenada wants an alliance. Get out of here, Grenada. He's already got cores there, so we don't even have to wait. We can just annex him as soon as the 10 years are up. Which will be when? Uh, next year. We can annex him next year. No, no, no. 1806. All right. 1806. That's fine. We will keep them in mind. 1806, we can annex Japan. 
get that achievement. Yay! Remove Wurzburg from the map. I have a claim on Sienna. Ooh, I forgot about that. Darn it. Well, we can just fabricate the same claim again, I guess. Milan's ready to annex. Uh, 1807. Alright. France has been 100% sieged by Spain. Lol. That is actually pretty hilarious. Oh, look. Spain wants an alliance. You got it, bro. Portugal wants an alliance too. Alright, whatever. I'll probably just break their hearts and not help them in a war or something, but whatever. How's your king doing there, Bohemia? Still. Oh, he did have a boy. God damn it. 53 and he finally had a baby. Damn it. Well, France is still 19 and no kids, so keep my hopes up. Spain is now kicking the shit out of Tuscany. Let's go get relations up with Tuscany, because they don't need to be they don't need to be upset. I would like them to be happy as much as possible. And we got a new cardinal. Go us. I wonder what Spain is gonna do to Tuscany. What is their war score anyway? I mean, their war's against France, and they're at 81. How is that only 81%? Come on, that should be 100%. I know France has some territories in, like, South America, but really, that should not... Oh, and they have some provinces up here in fucking Canada. That should not affect the war score. Come on, this should be 100%. All that other shit is just colonies. It's just colonies. Stupid Bohemia having babies. What gives you the right to have babies? I wanted your throne, damn it. I wanted your throne. And how does France have 98 prestige? That doesn't even make any sense. France is 100% conquered by Spain, and somehow they have 98 prestige. What the fuck? That makes no sense at all. They should be at negative 98 prestige. <laughs> Bohemia's demanding lands back. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm surprised Spain is having such trouble getting these territories since we just conquered all those forts. They should be pretty weak right now. But apparently they're not. Hopefully Spain will take one province, like Siena, and then we'll be able to peacefully vassalize Tuscany. That'd be great. But I am kind of living in a dream world there. I don't think it's going to happen. We are really overflowing on Diplo points. We are six years ahead. Might as well spend the Diplo on something. Hey, we changed the culture of our old capital. I was talking about doing that years ago, and we finally did it. So Gdansk is now Polish, just like Antwerpen. What else can we convert to Polish? What would be fun? Moskva? Let's convert Moskva. How much is that going to be? 250 points. You got it. Go Moskva. You are now going to be Polish. Yeah. Maybe Stockholm? Copenhagen. Let's do Copenhagen. Take that. Yep, 
Manchu have been annexed by the Oirats. So our protectorate got big. Yay! Japan is looking ripe and ready to vassal. All right, ripe and ready to annex. So that's nice. Uh, and Spain is actually invading the Ottomans. I don't know where the Ottomans' troops are. They have 45 guys here, but that's it. I don't see the rest of the Ottomans' armies. And Spain is just having a ball over here, just beating them up. Very amusing. I'm going to put a claim on Languedoc so that we can um, link up our lands without having to walk through French territory. We'll never core the damn thing, but whatever. Something to do. Ooh, gain legitimacy. Thank you. Come on, Spain. Take Siena. I know you want to. Hostile relations, have a CB. Oh, there we go. France will give Cor Tutina to Oregon. France will give Cor Venad to Madurai. France will give Cor North Konkan to Madurai. Okay, Madurai. Will annul trees with the Ottomans. Release Armagnac and Bourbonnais. Pay 570 ducats. All right. Hey, new people to vassalize. Cool. Why not? Free land! Free Willy! And France is having more provinces defect away to Madurai. Huh. So they're unable to hold on to their provinces in uh, India. That's quite amusing. Hmm, more base tax in Narva. Very nice. claim on France. Very good. And he has no allies right now, so let's go get our claim, shall we? I don't really care for anything else, but yeah, let's go get our claim. No one wants to help me. Eh, whatever. Siege them. Poor France. Hey, if we get lucky, we might kill his king and uh, get someone from my house because I don't think he has a boy yet. Yeah, he still has no boy. Oh, he's going to go for a different dynasty, though. The House of Fitz Thomas. That's from Munster. What the hell? <laughs> okay. The House of Fitz Thomas. You know what would be great is if Armagnac and, Bur and uh, Bourbonnais would start making claims. And then we can take those lands in the peace deal and sell it to them. Ah, yeah, that'd be glorious. Anywho, poop out a siege and move on. Poop and move. 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 
poop and moo. Poop and moo. Uh, I got two armies here. Whoops. How about you poop and go to Orleans? And you don't poop and go to Anjou. That'll work. Poop and go to Paris. Poop and go to Champagne. Poop and go to Gascony. Poop and go to Alencon. Poop and go to Co. Poop and go to Namur. He still has no troops. I mean, he's just trying to recruit, but Spain really did a number on him. I don't know if he's ever going to recover from this. This could be it for France, you know? He did win his war against Britain somehow, uh, but he's not going to have enough troops to do anything about this war, that's for sure. And that'll be it. The Carpet Siege of France has begun. I'm only here for one province, so I don't really care. And Tuscany was left alone, so they're not able to peacefully vassalize because their base tax is still 37, or it's pretty high. Give you guys a gift. And you as well. And hopefully they'll be making claims and shit. If they do, we'll just take them in this war and sell it to them when we vassalize them. Poor France. Wow, that is a lot of rebels in Baden. What are they? Revolutionaries. <laughs> Revolutionary Baden. That'd be hilarious. Revolutionary Baden. In stores today. France got a fucking air. God damn it, France. I hate you. Yep, 21 and he had a little baby. Damn it. Oh well. If we couldn't get lucky in the first 300 years of marriage, then maybe we could get lucky in the last 20 years of marriage, but I doubt it. It's just not very likely. Ah, right, our death squad. I forgot about our death squad. Let's go help with some of these things. Oh, he actually has a navy over here. Look at that, 20 large ships and everything. Wow. I don't think we're going to get there in time to actually be of any help, but we'll send the main navy over. The death squad. Go. The death squad cometh. Yeah, we didn't get there in time, but we only lost two ships. No big deal. One turn of healing and then come back out with the rest of those guys. There you go. Now we're wall walloping him. Huh. Take that, Francy Pants. Yeah, we actually killed some ships. Stole a heavy ship, even. Oops, I canceled access. Sorry, Oirats, didn't mean to. Right clicked instead of left clicked. It's an honest mistake. He's going to go dock up up here, it looks like. So we'll dock up an armor and keep an eye on his navy. I would like to kill his navy. Poor France.
Okay, there goes the rest of his navy. We killed all of his heavy ships. Good. Uh, ow. <laughs> he actually has a war galleon. Are you kidding me? What a joke. That thing is old and decrepit. It's not even a two-decker. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just stay there. Split in half. We'll blockade up there. We'll also blockade Poitou. You guys can split in half and blockade gas. There you go. So we're going to blockade everything. Yay! Uh, enemy of enemy would be Grenada. Who do you have as enemy of enemy? You have Baden. All right, we can throw that. No problem. Free 20 points. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's France's main navy, and he's bringing an army of 32k. Really? That was unexpected, entirely unexpected. I did not realize he actually had a decent fleet, and he is bringing troops. Look at this. Uh, General, he's running to Picardy. I'll meet you there. You, come to Picardy. I wonder if our navy can get there in time. Because he can't actually get off the boat while they're fighting. So as long as our navies keep him busy, then we might be able to get our main fleet up there and stop him from undocking entirely. That'd be great. Just don't lose the fight. Just keep him busy, okay? Yes, Colombia is now defender of the Catholic faith. Go, Colombia! Oh, we lost the fight. But we are engaging again. And he has not yet undocked. Or unboated? Disembarked? Yeah, unboated. That's the right term. I'm about to unboat. And he did get off the boat. Right before we attacked him again. Fuck me. <laughs> Literally right before we attacked him again. Oh well. 5-3 uh, versus his 5-5-6. Five, five, of course, France gets a 5-5-6. Five, five, he rolls a 9 on day 1, but he does have a crossing penalty for undocking on my face. Hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, it looks like the morale is going to go very much in our favor. Yeah, we're slaughtering him. Love it. Where's my main navy? We're on the way. We're just slow. Darn it. He's feeding on my ships. He actually stole a whole ton of my trade ships. He stole like 40 trade ships, but oh well. Where will he retreat to? I honestly don't know. to Artois. Alright, well, I'll leave 5k guys, and um, we'll go to Artois. Squish? Yeah. Okay, goodbye French army. Well, at least he brought something over. He didn't do that for Spain. For Spain, he didn't bring anyone over. He's like, oh, I'm scared of Spain, but he's not scared of me. But he, he died anyway. Alright, 67 guys. Um, why can't I group you up? I don't know. I can't, oh, because the fight is apparently still going. It's, a, it's an invisible fight. It's still going. All right, you guys can go to Utrecht. You guys can go to the capital. It looks like he wants to party. Yeah, we'll, we'll party. There we go. So he's got an admiral. A 4-6. Of course he's got a fucking 4-6 admiral. I have no such thing. I can get an admiral. 5-5? Five, five? Yeah. Come on to the party, baby. Actually, wait to the end of the month. Get your end of the month bonus. There. Now come to the party and uh, bring up the rest of the fleet. 4-6 versus my 5-5. Five, five. 
I can't believe we actually got a 5-5 Admiral. That's pretty... There we go. That'll even things. And uh, we have backup arriving somewhat soon. There goes the capital, Paris. And Leone. Okay. Now we're talking. 302 ships. Fucking slaughter. Nice. Oh my god, he actually got annihilated. He didn't even retreat. Ha <laughs> All right, so the French Navy is now kaput. His entire Navy consists of 10 ships now. We still have 302. This is just our Western Navy. We have a Navy in Asia as well. All right, why don't we split out the trade ships and uh, split you in half. Half you go to Antwerp, please. And the other half go to Genoa. Oh, no, no, no. I already have ships in Genoa. I never even brought up the ships from Genoa. You can do London or Bordeaux. Do Bordeaux. Yeah, I forgot about my um, Mediterranean ships. I never brought them up. I have like 60 ships down here. I have 70 ships down here. 69 transport, 69 trade ships, and I never brought them up. Oh, well. I forgot about them. Alright, it's about time to tech up, so let's save up all of our points here. Tech up quickly. Keep the siege going. More base tax sounds good to me. National tax down by ten percent. Oh no, that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Wow, this siege is taking forever. Poitou negative sixty-three. Uh, Gascony negative fifty-six. Wow. Go help them, they are slow. The Pope has insulted us. That's probably not the wisest decision you've ever made, Pope. But I'll improve relations. Maybe that'll... I don't know, soften your anger? Crazy Pope. I hate you so much! Whoa, look at Spain trying to steal a cardinal. Yeah, I don't think so. You know what, though? We do need to end this episode here, so thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time, where we will peace out France, and we'll annex our vassals Milan and Japan. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then. Have a good day.